As you swing a leg over Kawasaki CX-6R, images of Keenan Sofwagla may flicker through your mind. This machine stands apart from the one that carried the illustrious World Supersport Champion to his final three titles. Yet, it emits all the right sounds and exudes the same sense of purpose. Such qualities are becoming increasingly rare in today's landscape, with manufacturers constantly re-evaluating their approach to middleweight supersport bikes. Thankfully for sport bike aficionados, Kawasaki remains steadfast in this category. In fact, they've redoubled their efforts, introducing an updated platform for 2024. Before delving into the new machine, however, we felt it prudent to reacquaint ourselves with the current generation ZX-6R, one of only three inline 4 600s still available. For those seeking fresh options, the Honda CBR600RR and Suzuki g sex are 600 stand as the alternatives. It's worth noting that the zx 6 or isn't strictly a 600, as Kawasaki opts for a larger displacement 636 cubic centimeters engine, offering a more robust low-end and mid-range. While seemingly minor on paper, this distinction underscores Kawasaki's deliberate approach. They've consistently maintained that the current Generation 6 R was designed with the street rider in mind, alongside track day enthusiasts and racers. Regarding the bike itself, the remainder of the modern ZX 6 R package completely overhauled in 2013 and refreshed once more in 2019 reflects Kawasaki's commitment to preserving the racing heritage synonymous with the ZX name. Equipped with a Showa Big Piston Separate Function Fork, BPS FEF, Nissan Monoblock Front Brake Calipers, and an extensive electronic suite surpassing that of its rivals, the ZX-6 or boasts two power modes, three-level Kawasaki Traction Control KDRC, and an electronic quickshifter. In 2019, Kawasaki underwent a styling update for the ZX-6R, focusing on refining the tail cowl, front cowl, and windscreen to harmonize the bike with its ninja lineage. Alongside these adjustments, several enhancements were introduced, such as LED lighting, a reworked seat, an adjustable clutch and brake levers, all contributing to a contemporary appearance that still holds up today. It's noteworthy that the 2024 iteration of the ZX-6 R boasts an even more contemporary aesthetic. Apart from adapting the engine to comply with modern emission standards, Kawasaki revamped the front and side cowls, upgraded the LED headlights and windscreen, and introduced a 4.3-inch TFT display along with updated ride modes, encompassing sport, road, rain, and a customizable rider mode. Transitioning to riding impressions, the absence of the TFT display becomes apparent when on the 2023 ZX 6R, despite the functionality of the analog tachometer and LCD display, which provide essential information including selected ride mode and traction control settings. Throughout our track and street sessions, we largely retained the default settings, finding the bike's power output sufficient without the need to switch from full to low power mode. Traction Control Level 1 provided a satisfactory safety net for various scenarios. This isn't to disregard the value of power modes and adjustability on the 2023 ZX 6R, particularly for novice riders who are gradually acquainting themselves with higher performance levels. However, it's crucial to acknowledge the relatively limited necessity and usage scenarios, which may elucidate why updates for middleweight bikes like this aren't as prevalent compared to other models where such technologies yield more significant benefits. On our in-house DynoJet 250i Dyno, our 2023 ZX-6 are registered 108.4 horsepower at 13,200 RPM and 45.8 pound FT of torque at 10,900 RPM. These figures fall within the anticipated range for a stock middleweight supersport bike. However, they only paint part of the picture, as the ZX-6R offers a user-friendly experience, particularly in city riding. Thanks to its additional 37 cubic centimeters displacement over traditional 599 cubic centimeters inline force. Think of it as an easy button for the casual street rider, especially evident when accelerating from stoplights. The added low-end torque means less need for aggressive throttle and clutch maneuvers when the light turns green. But the advantages extend beyond city streets. The enhanced mid-range power facilitates more vigorous acceleration out of tight corners and canyon carving or track sessions. During our testing, we conducted side-by-side -side comparisons with the Suzuki g sex R600, and the ZX-6R consistently outpaced the Suzuki in tight corner exits. 
Moreover, the beefier mid-range of the ZX-6 allows riders to maintain a more relaxed posture with a broader and easier-to-access power band, requiring less concentration. However, it's important to note that despite its flexibility, the zx 6 remains a middleweight supersport, meaning its true performance prowess emerges when the tachometer needle surpasses 9000 RPM. Beyond this point, the inline-4 engine exhibits the characteristic high-revving and spirited behavior typical of its class, albeit with a smoother demeanor compared to V-twin competitors like the Ducati Panigale V2. While Kawasaki prioritizes engine flexibility for street riders, it hasn't compromised on the bike's ergonomics or chassis. As soon as you mount the ZX-6R, you'll notice a distinctly aggressive riding position, with a forward-leaning stance facilitated by heavily angled clip-ons position low, priming riders for an assertive riding style. This aggressive stance contrasts with the more relaxed rider triangle of the Suzuki G6 R600 and underscores the ZX-6R's track-focused pedigree. The bike displays razor-sharp agility, particularly evident in swift chicanes where riders must swiftly transition the bike from one side of the tire to the other. However, there's a caveat. This agility can lead to a twitchy feel when inputs are too sudden or when encountering unexpected bumps on the track. Despite the plush suspension that effectively absorbs surface irregularities, heavy braking induces significant dive, resulting in a somewhat pitchy sensation. While suspension adjustments and proper sag setup can mitigate this issue to some extent, it remains a characteristic of the bike. The ZX-6R embodies two distinct personas. On one hand, there's a more relaxed demeanor facilitated by the engine's broad power delivery, while on the other, a serious demeanor emerges from the pointed chassis. This duality enables the ZX-6R to cater to both street and track riders. Those who push the limits of the ZX, 6 or will appreciate its performance-oriented chassis, ready to tackle any challenge. However, achieving optimal performance requires meticulous attention to suspension setup, particularly in dialing in the show a big piston separate function fork. While it's difficult to induce tire spin on the ZX-6R, the presence of traction control offers reassurance as riders approach that threshold, such as towards the end of a grueling track day or during adverse weather conditions mid-ride. However, it's worth noting that the traction control system lacks the sophistication of the latest lean-angle sensitive technologies found in other motorcycles, which benefit from the additional data provided by multi-axis inertial measurement units IMUs, resulting in a narrower operational window and enhanced precision. The traction control system effectively fulfills its intended purpose of preventing loss of traction, intervening before things get out of hand. It achieves this with a moderately noticeable intervention, delivering an assertive cut in power without severely compromising drive. Striking a balance, it's not overly conservative, allowing riders to enjoy some spirited riding before intervening. While a newer, more technologically advanced system might yield quicker lap times for aggressive riders, for non-competitive riders, this traction control system proves more than sufficient. Similar sentiments apply to the quick shifter. While there are smoother systems available, the ZX-6R's quickshifter performs as intended, providing seamless, clutchless upshifts at nearly any RPM. It exhibits a minor hiccup during low RPM. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.